Hey everyone, so today I'm going to go over the process of how to drop the exhaust on a 335i. Um, to update you guys on the swap of the my 335, my other 335, is um, I'm still waiting on some parts to come in, so most likely it should come in about sometime Monday, and then I can start resuming um, working on it. So yeah, I'm kind of like at a standstill right now, but um, in the meantime, I never realized I need to put out a video on like how to uh, drop these ex exhausts on these cars so might as well do it and I also need to drop the drive shaft so that's pretty much along the process of how to pretty much one of the things you gotta do to get the swap going so when I'm doing it on my not my it's hard to distinguish which one is which on my old car which was the blown motor or whatever um, I'll pretty much do a more detail, put the videos together, edit it right so that it could um, flow much better. But yeah, um, it's also a lot easier to make a video for this car because it's stock also. So most of the components will be the same uh, for most of the viewers that have 335i's. So um, tomorrow I have to go ahead and get this, my backup car the red 325i um, it needs to put in a water pump a thermostat and do the radiator on it so I'm um, not really stoked about it because I hate doing water pump and thermostat jobs on these cars but it's like my 20th one now so should be pretty quick and I'll go ahead and make a video about that also so pretty much detail out the steps and all that good stuff so um, yeah so the end of this video well not the end of this video but main meat of this video is pretty much how to drop the exhaust so i'll most likely have more updates coming up soon so yeah all right so i want to start to drop the exhaust now so i'm gonna start from disconnecting from the down pipe and work my way on back so the first thing i did was um take off the 12 millimeter bolts there's four of them um two on each side so go ahead and just take those off i had to put some um WD-40, you can use PB Blaster or whatever on them. I actually like PB Blaster a lot better. But, um, yeah, I couldn't find mine, so I just used the WD-40. So, I'm going to go ahead and take those off. So, what's next is I'm going to go ahead and take that bracket off over there. So, for the next set of bolts, um, pretty much you could do it two ways. You could either use, disconnect this bolt right here, or disconnect these two over in the corner. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and um, disconnect this one to make it a lot more easier. So it's an E10 socket. So let's go ahead and just like remove it. And then um, I already got a little bit loosened right now. Oh, one this. And there we go. Okay, so the next part we got to do is take off this bracket right here. So what it is, it's a T50. So let's use a T50 socket and we could go ahead and start on um, removing these. Okay, so looking at the diff, the next bolt we have to take out is uh, this one. And over here on this side, that one. Um, they're both 18 millimeter bolts. Um, you could take a regular 18 millimeter socket and take this one out. But if you come over on this end, it has like a little bit of a clearance issue. So most likely you could just use like a, what is it called, one of these, like a channel lock or whatever, pliers and um, take it off. So yeah, that's what I use to take off that bolt right there. This one, I'm going to use to take this one off. It's not that tight on there, so all you got to do is like untighten it a little bit and then you can just take it off by hand. Let me see, I could just loosen it. And then and that's that. All right. So now that the bolts out, all you gotta do is just take this piece right here and um, lift it a little bit and flip it over the bolt. There we go. Um, you gotta push the exhaust up a little bit because you got the weight of the exhaust on there. Um, come over here, do the same thing. There we go. Lift 
get it out of the way. Okay, so the next bolt we're gonna do is uh, what was it? This last section is like right next to the exhaust. Um, it's one here, and then there's another one over on this side also. So yeah, just these right here. So they're both 13 millimeters, so it's pretty easy to take off. So just take those two out, and after that, there's only one more set of bolts, and then the exhaust could finally drop out. Okay, so now that it screws out, just go ahead and um, bring these down like so. And same over here, bring it down. Okay, so what we have right now is uh, the last bolt. It's um, wait, wait. this one, and over on the other side, it'll be right there by the red mount, that other bolt also. So once we take those off, then you can easily just pull the exhaust off. So at the current moment in time, I'm gonna go ahead and use the jack and support it up here, hold it, so that just in case that the jack just, the exhaust doesn't just like fall down because this exhaust is like extremely, extremely heavy. Well, yeah, heavy. Okay, so I have the jack supporting the um, exhaust right now, so all I have to do is use the E10 socket and remove the uh, bolt right now. And you see it start to drop a little bit. Exhaust start to move. And swing this out of the way. Stick this right here. Alright, and off to the next side. Okay, so with this unscrew now, you just go ahead and flip this out of the way. And also on this side of the edge, there's this actuator for the exhaust flap. Um you're just gonna go ahead and just pull this out. And that's that. And crap, it's pretty brittle, so it broke. Um, no biggie. It's long enough so it could always go back in if needs be. But yeah, you just just use a razor and just cut here and take it off, and you can all just reattach it if yours ever does break. So that's no big issue right here. But this just has to be disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the exhaust down now, lowering the jack. No! There we go. So exhaust is lowered down. Um, the only part that's left now, actually, we could go ahead and just bring the, bring the um, exhaust backwards. And it'll come off, but then the tip's gonna fall off on the other end, drop on the ground. So, easiest way to go ahead and do that now is just to go up to the front and back it up a little bit off of the down pipes. That's the only thing that's really holding it in place right now, as you see. So, let's wiggle it. So, I couldn't do it with one hand, so. Yeah, I just pulled it back a little bit and then, then just bring it down to the floor. So now the exhaust is out. If we go ahead and um move it out from underneath the car. Alright, so for when you get your new exhaust, you could go ahead and just take off the brackets off the old exhaust, swap them over to your new exhaust, and pretty much do the reverse of um the uninstall. So that's pretty much it on how to uninstall a uh 335 should be somewhat similar to like the 328s, the 325s, stuff like that on the E90 and the E92. And yeah, that's about it. So, till next time, like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next video.